Hi everyone, it's Elise. I hope you're doing well. Today is December 1st and I am going to do a flip through of my Hobonichi cousin and my TNs for the month of November. I cannot believe that November is over. <laughs> and I am primarily planning in the TNs, but I did want to make an effort to finish out the year in the cousin just so that I could have as much of a complete archive in here as possible. So let's just go through it. I did kind of give up on the uh, weekly pages, but I did set up the um, the monthly at the beginning of the year. I don't really think, or the beginning of the month, I don't really think I added anything in here um, after the fact, but these are all Cat Collage Club stickers from the month of November so they are so cute she did like a dark academia kind of theme and then um some like Thanksgiving type stickers so very very cute and then if we go over to the weeklies um November started here this week I was I think I was pretty much back planning or planning concurrently in here most of this time. So it's not as kind of lived in as it used to be when I was in here full time, kind of working out of this book. So um, yeah, you can see here the beginning of November and then the first full week of November again with those adorable stickers, like come on, they are so cute. And what I love about like Patreon or um, supporting artists like this she doesn't do it through patreon but it's through her website cat collage club is that you can just print them out as many times as you want and so yeah i love that they're so so cute so that was that week this was the week of the 11th through the 17th and i used just some of these um date stickers from courtney diaz's patreon from like august of 23 i think uh, which were really cute, but um, after that, I did not do any other weeks in here. So, going back to the um, daily pages, this is the part of this book that I feel like I am really going to miss. Um, even though the TN size page is basically like this big, you know, it, it takes up most of an A5 page and it's the same height. I still really feel like I'm going to miss having a full A A5 size page to, um, to play with and to write on. I mean, it's a lot of space, obviously, to print pictures and to write as much as I need to about the day. So... I feel like, yeah, I am going to miss the size of these pages. And it just doesn't quite feel the same yet in the TN because I am also doing some daily journaling in there, but it just doesn't quite feel the same. So I don't know if it's just going to take me a little bit to get used to it, or maybe once I'm out of this book and only in there, like it'll be easier for me to accept. But yeah, I feel like I'm really going to miss these pages. So as you can see, I'm really loving like printing pictures and things like that to fill up the pages because I am also in the TN. Like some days you can see like here I didn't write anything. Nothing really happened those days. And then on this day, I just put in um, my happy mail that I got from Gail instead of writing about the day, which is fine. I'm still going to like really treasure having this book and being able to like go back through the year and look at all of these pages like it's just such a really cool thing to be at the end of a book and see your nearly whole year in here I didn't start in this until May so I do have some things in my first book but I'll go through that in another video so you guys get these two pages as well Oops, don't look at that. That's my currently inked. <laughs> I'm going to do that in another video. <laughs> These are um, some more Cat Collage Club from last month. These are Paper Minty Studios. And these are those. This is one of those printables from um, Paper Neverland on Instagram. And I always kind of like find it 
cool how I'm, I come here to write what the memories are. And I'm like, man, I don't even remember what happened in this month. Like nothing happened. <laughs> and then I go back through the pages and I'm like, oh my gosh, all these things happen. Which is why I definitely need a memory keeper because I forget absolutely everything. So that is the cousin. And then I have my two TNs here. I've added this little necklace charm here. This is my daughter's necklace, but the chain broke and she hasn't worn it in a long time. So I found this in the bathroom and I was like, can I put this on my TN? And she's like, sure. So I just added that as a little piece of her, which I thought was cute. And then, um, yeah, both TNs are going really well. This is the main planning TN and this has some like auxiliary stuff. So I will flip through that. So in the main book here, I did switch out my little collage. I'm making these collages on um, Pinterest using their collage feature and just pictures that I find on there that I want to use for the vibe of the month. And then I just made this myself on Instagram. I screenshotted the December calendar in the Apple calendar and then I just added like these little pieces around it and printed it out because I do like crossing off the days. So um, so in the Traveler's Undated Weekly, I did start that in here on the 11th of November. So the, this weekly view is going really well for me. I am going to be using the Paper Test Vertical Weekly for next year, but um, I really wanted to start using it in the TN for this year, so I did get this, and I did talk about that in my last video. So yeah, there's only three weeks in here from November, but I think they're all super cute, really functional, and um, give me an accurate representation of like the places that I went or the appointments that I had that week. So I do have some printables up here from Erin Ware that I set up the next um, several weeks for until the end of December. And then I'll be moving into next year's book. Crazy. So that's my weekly insert. And then on my daily insert, um, we started with my daughter's birthday, my currently inked for the month of November, <clears throat> and then usually about one page per day. And this page has two days. Some days I'm just writing a to-do list. Some days I'm writing some journaling about the day. So nothing too crazy, just really enjoying this book. On this day, I did get a date stamp, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. I don't feel like it looks as nice as having... Oh, it was like on the 25th that I started using it. I just feel like it looks a lot more kind of structured to have that little date sticker up there in the corner rather than having the date stamp. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which do you prefer? Oops, dang it. Stop looking at my currently inked, guys. <laughs> So that was yesterday, and then there's today, and there's that dashboard like collage again, and I stamped out December 2024, and that's it for that insert. In the back here is my monthly insert. I did set up the month of December in here, but um, I don't have anything for November. So that's this one, and you can see how the leather is doing. I don't know how it's getting all this glitter on it. I have to assume it's from like somehow like shimmer inks, but I don't know. I don't use like glitter lotion or anything. So yeah, I'm not sure where all of that's coming from, but the leather is doing pretty well. We're getting like some scratching on the back of it here. Oh, there's like a little stain too. I just noticed that. 
Um, yeah, so the back looks like it's getting a little bit more worn out than the front is. I wonder if there's like sparkles on here from my daughter's makeup or something. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, it's not feeling dry anymore after I conditioned it that one time and it's feeling pretty good. I am thinking though I might move into my Moterm uh, Veg Tan at the beginning of the year just to kind of have like that fresh start in a new book um, for the excitement of it in the new year but also like this is feeling pretty chunky not that it's too chunky I don't mind it um, there's three inserts in here and a folder or two folders the canvas and the um, the cardboard one but yeah it's not too chunky but I think it would be nice to move into the Moterm Veg Tan for a while but yeah this leather is doing really well this leather is a lot more like I really love the feel of this leather and you can see that it's patinaing a lot faster than this one. I think it might be just the texture or the nature of the leather like this was the one that was kind of suede at first. This was always really smooth. Um, so yeah I think this one might just show patina slower. But this one seems to be patinaing pretty quickly. Like it has a lot of scratches now, as you can see. And it is not that suede texture anymore. It feels a lot smoother now. It does still feel really soft, but it doesn't like have that like carpet kind of thing when you swipe your hand over it and you can see like, like the mark left behind. It's a lot more shiny now, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I really love the way that this is aging and just how fast it's aging. I love to just how like flexible this leather is. It's much more like bendy than the brown one. And it seems to be like the corners are like bending to fit the shape of the inserts and stuff. I don't know. It just feels like it's wearing really, really nicely. So I'm really enjoying this leather and the same for the wallet or the passport size, which is um, over on my desk. I didn't bring it over here. Anyway, so in this one, I did create this little December thing and put that in there. And then I have my health tracker in here. So... Um, here was like the first three days of November. That was before I was using it as a health tracker. It was still being used as my weekly planner as well. So the same with this one. And then this second week of November is when I started using it solely as a health tracker. Um... So I've been writing my exercise over here, any symptoms over here, what I'm reading in the Bible, my sleep still, my energy levels, and my steps up there. And then on this week, because this week I had pre-set up this section, so I didn't have like all the categories on here that I normally would. So this week I put all those calories there, steps, protein and carbs, calories, and then mood. Same thing with the sleep and energy levels. And then same over here, what activity I did and what... Um, like symptoms I was feeling and what I was reading in the Bible. And then here is this week, which I still need to go back and fill in some information. And I have not set up next week yet. So that is that. In the middle here, I have a commonplace set up. And I have been using this. So I still have those um, journaling prompts in the front that I want to add to. And then I have video ideas. I have my TBR book list, which I haven't read any of these. And I just added all of these today. And I'm like, I really need to start reading. So I have my planner lineup, my go-to meals. November moods. I posted this on Instagram. This is something that Claire from online does and I really love it. Um, Erin Ware posted something about what moves her forward. I think she posted it a long time ago and I um, did a little thing on that. Then I did my November currently inked. Um, I'm going to do a happy mail log here that records like what I send to people and then 
Um, I'll also do, as I get Happy Mail, what people send to me. And then I wanted to print out from online like my favorite traveler's notebook themes that I wasn't able to participate in because now they're gone. Like the notebook, the coffee, and this is also from coffee. And then this is this year's. So I just printed these out from online like on regular paper and just like taped them or, you know, double-sided taped them down just to have them because I wish that I could get like some of the accessories from these two years because I love notebooks and I love coffee. Um, then I did a little uh, cafe review, which I want to do. We have a lot of cute, like, independent cafes in our area. And um, I want to just go and write a little review about them. Then I did some writing on vocabulary building. And I saw two videos about philosophical dialogue and how to journal like Gandalf. Um, they were okay. I wish that I had gotten more out of them than I actually did, but I did write some notes in there. And then I do have some notes for my pen awards video, which I will be doing. So I'm going to do it similar to like an award show, like, um, best pen of the year and, um, favorite new brand and things like that. So I'm looking forward to filming that. That's all I have in there so far. And... Then in the back here, I have um, on the second string another one of these folders. And I have a little coffee and notebooks thing that I printed out from online there. And then I have the Onion Skin 32 GSM notebook in here that I got from um, Paper Penguin Co. And I thought that what I would do on here is right on this side and then do like a collage or stickers on this side, but I realized that unless they're clear stickers, um, I don't like the, the look of having something on both sides. So I've just been writing on this side of the paper and then turning the page and writing on this side. And oh my gosh, I just love this paper. I love how, um, I just love the feeling of it. It reminds me of like tracing paper from being in school. I love like how, um, crinkly it is, the texture of it, how light it feels, the sound of it. It's just like really enjoyable to write on. Like it just really gives me a sensory experience when I'm writing on it. So I just have filled up a few pages here. And I also like how when you're like looking at the pages, you can kind of see the other pages behind it. I don't know. It just gives it like I don't know. It's just, oh, I love it so much. I can't describe it. I do think it's sensitive to hand oil. So I'm trying not to like touch the pages too much because I realize that like once I get like halfway down the page, sometimes it feels like the ink won't stick to the paper anymore. And, um, yeah, I don't like that. So obviously I'm trying to be careful and not like touch the paper and kind of wear long sleeves while I'm writing so that I just don't disturb it and it will be able to be written on nicely. So that is really all of it. So I have my health, commonplace, and journal in here. And then I have my daily, weekly, and monthly in here. And this is my main system now. And then I am also um, still continuing to do my dailies in the A5. But yeah, let's compare like the size of the A5 page to the um, the Traveler's Notebook. Because like, I swear they're not that different. So yeah, there's like that, that much more on the A5 size, which is not that much, like maybe a little more than an inch, but I don't know, it just feels so much bigger. Anyways, that is it, friends. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you all had a good November, and I hope you have a wonderful December, and I will see you next time. Bye.